Sierra Leone has sworn in a new president, but the losing candidate says he plans to contest the results. Julius Mardabio captured 51.8% of the vote in Saturday's runoff election. His rival, Samura Kamara, from the ruling All People's Congress Party, says the result was marked by fraud and will launch a legal challenge. Bio, who headed a military government in 1996, says it's time for the country to unite. But for more analysis, we're joined by African affairs analyst Colin Nyuki. Uh, good to speak to you. So a former military ruler who ruled the country very briefly in 1996 is once again president. Who is he? Well, um, we, we do know uh, Mr. B uh, Madabayo from, from his time as a military uh, uh, officer that uh, actually led um, Sierra Leone uh, from 1992 to 1996. Um, what we do know of him on the positive side is the fact that um, he voluntarily handed, up, uh, handed over power to, um, you know, a democracy practically elected uh, government. But of course, um, the fact remains that um, a military officer that uh, toppled, um, you know, uh, a democratically elected uh, government is uh, certainly not something uh, to sing uh, praises of. Uh, beyond that, the election was uh, very much uh, contested on content, content in terms of uh, actually focusing on what uh, the two candidates, uh, you know, that uh, did the runoff are going to do for the people of uh, Sierra Leone. So uh, to that extent, uh, there are, you know, some rays of hope that uh, Sierra Leone will be getting, um, you know, a good deal, uh, Mr. Bayo, uh, you know, being elected. And, and what will be, though, his main challenges ahead? And do people have trust in him? Well, I, I believe that um, the reason, the main reason that people, uh, you know, decided, the people of Sierra Leone decided to uh, trust their faith in his hand is actually the fact that um, uh, since the last uh, 10 years, poverty has been uh, deepening. And, um, you know, the biggest threat to, um, you know, post um, uh, crisis, post war uh, era in uh, Sierra Leone is the deepening uh, poverty. And so anybody who came up to say to them that uh, he is going to change their fortune, which was precisely what uh, the president-elect uh, did, uh, the person, uh, you know, they are want to want uh, to listen to the person. Essentially, beyond the promises, beyond the, the you know, the, um, uh, the promise of a better life, the promise of uh, changing uh, their fortunes by creating more jobs and uh, bringing in more investment, uh, we are yet to see precisely how exactly he is going to do that because he has uh, actually been uh, very much um, you know, silent on the strategies that he's going to use. So we have nothing to judge him on as far as what he's going to do is concerned. Thank you very much for that insight, uh, Collins Nuiki.